Hi, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, we're going to talk about my favorite show today, which is sales. All right, we're going to have a basic conversation, and I've had some people ask me a lot of questions about sales, and so I'm just going to throw this subject out there, and I think it's pretty interesting. So check this out. You know that if you are in sales at all, it is a numbers game. Now, you ask yourself, what does that mean, a numbers game? It's just quite honestly the truth. When you are just new into sales, you haven't got a lot of experience, and you're trying to figure out, well, how come I'm not selling everybody? Well, it's not always that easy. There's just a lot of things you have to learn, a lot of techniques, and sometimes just asking for the order, like, did you want to go ahead and get that? just makes a lot of sense. It's a numbers game. And what I mean by that, it's really, really cool. Now, if you break it down, if you are right now selling maybe one out of maybe five or six, or maybe even one out of 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or whatever, you have to consider, well, how many sales do or am I expected to make on a monthly basis? The company that you work with will have some kind of ideas and they have goals in those positions and points that you need to be able to meet each month to be able to qualify a lot of times for whatever promotion or thing that they have you set up on commission. Commission is really important. Now, if you're trying to figure out why is it a numbers game, the key to success is remember each person that you see, you're giving your total time with. You're giving them the opportunity, and if you're smart, you'll ask at each presentation and close the sale. You'll ask for the order. Once you've done this so many times, it's just going to show in your performance that by you just continuously learning your craft as far as the sales is concerned, the product knowledge, which is major important. You want to have a lot of hot buttons that you talk to your clients about so that way you can create a want and desire so that your customers feel comfortable. And remember, it's a numbers game. The more times that you give this presentation, you're more inclined to be able to sell. And this is a very, very beneficial thing because, see, a lot of times new salespeople, they get frustrated because they don't sell every one of them. Well, professionals don't sell every one of them either, but they sell probably a lot more than you're selling right now. So the key to success is you're learning the basics and the fundamentals. If you start learning the basics and the fundamentals about how to make your sales performance better, you're going to increase your numbers. You're going to increase your sales. You're going to increase the opportunities for you to make more money. Because remember, you work on commission. The more people that invest with you, you get paid a percentage. That's just a really good thing. And commissions can be so good for you. And man, they're a big time way to make a lot of money. You're not just one of these type of people who get a basic paycheck. They know exactly how much they're going to make every week. Yeah, it sounds good in reality, but it's not. If you have an opportunity to make a lot of money, get involved in this money, uh, this, 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 this money, or should I say money game? I meant numbers game because I guess it is a money's game. Numbers game, money's game. It's like the more you find out what makes you really good at your job, you're going to be able to use those particular things that make you valuable for your company. The reason why I stress that is, is you have the opportunity when you think about life as a numbers game. And this is just a really simple thing. When you look at the amount of people that you're going to have to call on over the phone, Maybe you have to call on people in person, business to business, door to door. Maybe you have opportunities where you talk to people over the internet, where you offer suggestions on different things and you're offering to sell yourself. No matter what you're trying to do, it's going to be a numbers game. The more clients and the more people that you sit down and talk with, they're going to see that, hey, you're getting better. They may not even know that you just started. You may be a brand new salesperson and you're going to run rings around those people who've been in sales for a long time. But remember, it's a numbers game. And also, when you look at the companies that hire salespeople, we're also a numbers game. 
And what that means is there's a lot of people who get into the business, they come and they go. And I've been guilty of that too, because see, it's like you see that there may be a better opportunity or you see companies uh, faltering. They're not taking care of the customer. So as a new salesperson, it's a numbers game. They're expecting, they spend a lot of money on you. They want to make sure that you can help and have a good conversation with the client and be able to sell them and help them to be able to buy and own the things that they need. And if they don't know you and you haven't given a presentation, they can't buy anything. So you're important and you matter. Salespeople, really, we do matter. It's a numbers game, and I share this with you because when I first got into sales, I remember I was a door-to-door -door salesperson, and I used to get frustrated. Now, we'd have to knock on about maybe that night, maybe 50, 60, 70, 100 homes, and I'd get maybe two, three sales. But see, at first, I didn't think that was a big deal, but it was a numbers game. The more people that I gave my information to, as I got better, the bigger, more commissions that I made because I had to see less people because I was given a better presentation and a better performance. So you'll get better. And just remember, it's a numbers game. It really, really is. You know, if you're in sales and you're trying to figure out how to get to the next level and you're trying to figure out how to make more money, you need to reach out and you need to get some mentors. You need to reach out and you need to research the internet. There's a lot of great people out there that have a lot of good information on how to make more money. And if your goal is to make more money, you have to have a system, you have to have a process, and you have to remember it's a numbers game. Any business, the more people you see, if you take care of those core people, those those people that come back and see you, you have the, all. it's all in your hands. Good customer service and great customer service and referrals and a continuation to continuously sell a client over and over and over starts at first one step at a time. But remember, if you're, not, you're new to it and you're not doing your best and you're faltering, look for those people who can help you to be able to find out who you are in sales. There really, there's a lot of people willing, but remember some people, once they've made it, they keep it real close to the vest. They kind of want to stay away from you because they don't want you to take away their mojo, their sales, and, and you, you're you taking up their time because they've probably seen a lot of people come and go and as a new person, you really have to earn your wings. That means you have to do everything in your power, not just with the, the company you work for, but also outside, what are you doing to create a better you inside? That means how you do you treat people? What are you doing to learn about how to communicate with people? What are you doing outside of your normal time frame? And a lot of times people, they don't, they think, well, it's just, you know, all I have to do is talk to people. Well, you got to listen. You got to learn. You got to be creative. You got to give a lot of great information. And it's a numbers game. The more time that you see people, if you work in a, a showroom, you're going to have a lot of people come in and go. And you'll get frustrated sometimes because you're not selling like one out of 10 or one out of 12, but you're selling. And if you keep looking at the numbers game, the more you talk to people, the better you home in on your craft. We're not beggars. We are people that can help people buy and own things that they may want or may not even know they need until a great salesperson like you picks up the time and thinks to themselves, well, I am creative, I'm smart, what can I do to get to the next level? And by looking at these videos, this is Gary Lee Stanley. We're just having a very simple conversation uh, that you need to look at life as a numbers game. You're going to have some good days. You're going to have some bad days. You're going to have some awesome days. But see, if you miss any of those things, you've missed out on life. And you're important and you matter. We're just like, you know, salespeople. We want to be creative. We want to be number one. And if you don't want to be number one, that's okay too. But, you know, you should at least want to be in the best that you can be. Because, see, that's most important. You have to strive and shoot for the stars. Not for the moon, but for the stars. Listen, it's a numbers game. Selling is is really the transferring of enthusiasm, and the more times that you transfer that enthusiasm to your clients, the more willing they're going to buy and own what you have to sell. Because excitement 
People love to get excited. Why do you think when you go to a great craft show or one of these malls and you see the store so busy? The reason being is because people are excited. They know that there's excitement there. And you have to go ahead and remember, the more people you talk to, you have to get better. You have to be kind. You have to be considerate. You have to treat your salespeople awesome. You have to treat your management awesome. And if you're a person who's in sales, you need to treat yourself awesome because you deserve it. Remember, if you look at life as a numbers game in sales, don't give up. Don't give in. You can do anything you put your mind to. That's what my mom always tells me. And it's important to remind yourself that it is a numbers game. The more you see clients, the more chances you have a better opportunity to close the deal. But you got to ask for the sale. This is Gary Lee Stanley. We just had a really good conversation about, you know, what's that question? Hmm. The question is, is we're going to look at life as numbers. And those numbers are on our side. <laughs> We're going to look at life and sales as a numbers game because it really is. If you just look at the positives, you're going to find all the positives. If you look for the negatives, found what you got. Crap. So I'm looking for the positive. We just had a real simple conversation about sales and being a numbers game. One, two, three. You got this. Still go out there and sell something. The next one could be your sell. If this one didn't work, go for the next one. Go out there and sell something. <laughs> Don't forget, it's a numbers game. What's your number? <laughs>